미국의 펜실베니아 주립대학에서 사회학을 가르치고 있는 샘 리처드 교수는 한국에 상당히 관심이 많습니다. 또한 그는 학생들이 적극적으로 참여하는 토론 수업을 잘 이끌어 나가고는 하는데요. 또한 유튜브에 수업의 라이브 스트리밍을 제공하여 이명의 시청자 다수 역시도 함께 수업을 들을 수 있도록 배려하고 있습니다. 오늘은 샘 리처드 교수의 강의 중 총기 규제에 대한 수업을 준비했습니다. 과연 명문 펜실베니아 주립대학의 학생들은 총기와 미국 다른 나라의 현 상태에 대해 어떻게 생각하고 있는지 함께 감상해 보시죠. And so I thought, you know what? Let me I want to talk about that. But then I thought, let me do it in the context of this other conversation that that I think comes actually at the heels of the last class as well. Gentlemen, can you just introduce yourselves really fast? So with the two volunteers Um, hello everyone, my name is Santiago Lopez. Um, I'm currently a, a senior here, I'm majoring in biomedical engineering. Um, I'm originally from Bogota, Colombia. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it about me. Uh -huh. I'm uh, Paul John Balderston, PJ's fine. I'm a junior studying math and physics and I'm from Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Dude, and it's Carlos, right? Santiago. Santiago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, man. So, gentlemen, so you're going to just sit tight. We're gonna, you, this is going to be one of those classes where we're, I'm going to talk, and then we're going to have, I want you to ask some questions. We're going to have a little bit of a back and forth, okay? Um, it's very different than last class. And I just, I don't know, I have this idea that it'd just be really good to frame this. And what I want to say to you all is that, um, This is, not a politic, this is not a political class. It's not a political conversation. It, it's, gonna, it's going to be a sociological conversation. So I want to really talk about the sociology of what is freedom and control and constraint, okay? So can you go to the... Um, so the, and what I, what I want to do is... Hey, by the way... Um, I think this is a really cool class. I think, it's, I think it's a really, I think it's going to be a really valuable class. There's sometimes when I just want to stand up here and talk. I used to do that. Like I actually used to talk to people. And the reason I kind of stopped, I largely stopped talking very much, is because over the years I would, you know, I'd give what I thought was like a really like killer class and see some, what I thought were some really cool things. That doesn't mean anybody else thought that. But, you know, whatever, I thought so. They, I was entertaining for me, so that was good. And um, then I would like, I would see people, you know, after class or, and, and, uh, and they wouldn't remember anything that I said. And I'm like, what, what am I doing here? Like, I'm just talking to myself. And this is before even the world of cell phones, right? It's not like people got lost and nobody remembered anything. Because, you know, you can't remember anything, right? And so what we typically do in a class like this is we have our notes out and we write all these notes And maybe we go back and we read them over, we read over those notes for a quiz or an exam or something, but oftentimes we never do. And then so it means nothing anyway. So I decided that, well, we might as well listen to each other talk, but sometimes I actually want to talk. And today will be a day maybe when I just try to frame some things in, in a way. So, okay, go to the next one. Um, let's look at guns. So the price of freedom, and again, listen, I'm neither, we don't, look, I, I, for all the gun people out here, understand, I grew up with guns, I shot a gun, the first time I shot a gun, I think I was five years old, I grew up with guns, I had guns around the house, there were loaded guns behind my parents' door here, there, everywhere, I mean, this is part of life, right? Um, very much gun culture, this is not political at all, here we go. Two different societies, but nonetheless, let's look at it, 19,379 violent gun deaths last year. Another additional 24,000 suicides via gun. But we're going to leave those off. In Korea, there were 41 gun deaths last year. I don't know if those were su included suicide deaths by gun or not, but let's assume they're not, because it was really hard for me to, to dig. I had to really dig into... Korean databases, and I don't read Korean, so, I, you know, it was hard, but 
but let's assume they're violent. Multiply it times six. That's 246. 246 violent gun deaths in Korea if Korea was the size of the United States versus 19,300. Freedom. So we're going to have freedom. Freedom to own a gun. So there's a freedom. There's a, there's a there, you know, they, this is important. And there's a cost. All freedom has a cost. This is part of the origin of the United States. Freedom has a cost. Okay? For Korea to control guns in the way that they do via a strong state, that has a cost. Because Koreans can't own the guns that they want to own. And there are other ways in which their lives are controlled. But that has a cost. Okay? So, what do you guys think about that? Dude, I mean, you're from Colombia, right? So we think about Colombia being a really violent society, but you can't easily own a gun in Colombia. I mean, it's very difficult, right? So... So I think this is this is really interesting. Um, like, if if you think about it, like, this is obviously the perspective of of the um, of the price that like you have to pay in, in the United States to have a gun. But like, it also if you think about it, there's there's some benefits to it, right? Like, um, like the fact that you that you can have a gun, like, is definitely something that is gonna bring you more security. So again, like, I, I like that you mentioned like Colombia. Like, I know a lot of people in Colombia, um, like family members that. Like they have to go through a lot of layers uh, of law to get a, a gun because of of the places where they move around in in the cities or or in the farmlands. So, like these are things that are like more facilitated here. So, like for instance, it's easier for you to like prevent a robbery, right? You could think about that. Of course, you would have to look at the data and see like how many robberies have been prevented because of the use of personal weapons, for instance. Um, but like I think that's that that's why like people support the use of of weapons here, like because of those reasons that like. Because you have that autonomy to to protect yourself, to basically have like a very powerful. Because like a weapon is something very very powerful if you think about it, right? Like it's something that by just pulling a trigger you can kill someone or many people. So, like I don't know. I just think it's it's yeah, a listen, complicated balance. Too. Okay, I hear what you're saying. This is good. But look, in Korea you got 246 deaths if they're the size of the U.S. Okay, by guns. Who you don't need to protect yourself. Like what are you protecting yourself from? Nobody has guns. Like, what, what's the point? It's like, so all, at most, what you're saying is, to the, gun, to the people in Korea who want to own guns, who, first off, don't even know, don't even really want to own guns, because most people in Korea, just like most people in Colombia, I mean, people who aren't from a gun culture are like, why would I need a gun anyway? So like, all right, why do I need a gun? So they, they're already protected. There's only 246 people died a violent death if it's the size of the United States. So like, the, the, in a way, that argument is, is moot because if you lived in that world, it's like, okay, well, I don't need a gun then. Let me move on with life, right? And then you say, yeah, but people want to hunt and people want, okay, well, all right, now let's work on that. But the point being, I'm not making an argument against guns, right? Understand this. That's not it. I'm going like, this is freedom. Is the cost, is the cost, is the price of that individual liberty and the ability for any one of you, even in here, right now, even though you're not allowed to be in a place like Penn State, even in here you still could be packing and nobody would know. Is, is the price of that worth it? Is, is the question, right? Or it's like, is, is it worth having that liberty and not having the strong... PJ, I want you to speak on this. Or is it worth, and is it worth, or is it worth having a stronger state who says, no, you know what, we're going to own the guns, we're going to have them, and you're not going to have them. And you could be like, ah, I'm not sure that's worth it. And these are different cultures, different worlds, different ways of seeing the world. Do you have a thought on that? Or like, what's coming up? What questions are coming up for you? Uh, I don't know. I mean, personally, I kind of like to flirt with anarchy. So, um, <laughs> like, uh, taking all guns away in the U.S. is, like, I don't really personally see, like, how that would cut down on violent crimes where 
that are potentially associated with like organized crime where okay. people could access guns in illegal ways. Um, I don't think, you know, we should have like no restrictions on guns. Uh, but, they, but they do. But listen, but they figured it out. Who's the Koreans have figured it out. Yeah. Well, what, sure. I guess it's I a mean, very different culture. No, I got you. I got you. But, yeah. you know, you and know we have I mean, baked right? into like, you know, our founding. Yeah, I got you. That oh, we're all big on guns and we have more guns than people. And yeah, all, all that. that kind of stuff. Yep. And so you're you're we're, we're backing in this way. But the issue is we got to find this balance. And the question is, is the price? Is it worth the price? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure, like, a lot of people who say, like, oh, you know, we have guns in the U.S. to prevent from government tyranny is, like, kind of silly when, you know, our military is, like, pretty pretty well-armed. Um, you know, I think practically the purpose of having a gun would be more effectively used in, like, the case of self-defense, home invasion, hunting, okay. that sort of thing. Okay, right, all right, so, and... If we didn't have so many guns, we probably wouldn't need to worry about those things anyway. Like in Korea, maybe not, right? Maybe we wouldn't need to be. And so like we're back and forth on this. You see, it's like you, gotta, you have to hold the two things together always. Strong government down here, the government making rules, telling us what to do. You're going to tell me what I can do with my life. You're going to tell me what I can do with my personal time, my personal liberty, what I can do on my own 20 acres of land where I go and I shoot my gun. You're going to tell me what I can do. Over here, well, but so when we, the government... Most has, people in the U.S. don't have 20 acres of land. Yeah, no, I got you, I got you. So it could just be what am I going to do with my time or my gun, my whatever. And then down here, it's, it's like, okay, yeah, do that. Or down here, it's like, yeah, but it's kind of... Let's flirt with anarchy for a second. Dude, I have flirt... I have Just flirting. Now I got you. I've seen the consequences of anarchy, and it's really ugly. So like, I'm like, now nah. we're watching it right now. In you know, we see it, we're seeing it in Afghanistan. We're seeing it in Haiti. We're seeing it in a couple different countries in Africa right now. It's like, now nah, we don't want to deal with that. Like, let's, let's let that let's let's get some control right here. You don't realize it, right? People people be like, no, let's have anarchy. That's because you've never seen it. Because you don't know what it is. If you knew what it was, if you watched it up close, as I've watched it up close firsthand, you'd be like, I don't want anything to do with that, man. I would much rather. Instead of that, I, uh, I think I'd much rather be, in a, be living in a place where there's a whole hell of a lot of government tyranny because at least there's stability. Now, mind you, I say that from being in the middle of anarchy, violent anarchy, going like, you don't want that shit. You do not want it at all. Trust me. You, d d you, know, um, this, you know, January 6th happening all across the nation, you don't want that, right? But, you know, whatever. But that means you